everyone, Uncle Jesse here. Today we're going to be playing around with Polycam's latest update that allows you to create a 3D floor plan of any building in minutes. And I'm interested in creating a 3D floor plan of this entire space using just my phone. Now, I don't know if this latest Polycam update is gonna work with Android devices. I know it does require that your phone have a LiDAR scanner on it. And for iPhones, you need to be on the latest iOS update. And it's absolutely wild how easy and how quick it is. And we're gonna see how accurate it is as well. But this isn't exactly just a big square room. I have lots of pillars here. There's actually pillars on those back walls that stick out. So I'm interested in seeing how the scan is gonna pick those up. Also, I have tables throughout here. It's supposed to be able to identify objects or at least basic shapes of objects in your space so you can calculate that in your actual scanning information there. I also have a number of doorways here, so we'll be scanning and seeing how that works as well. And I also have this front space that I still haven't updated and renovated yet that I wanna scan in. It's also got a nice large window and then I've got some separate rooms back here for bathrooms and then there's two smaller front offices, one of which I've already scanned as just sort of a test to see how this would go. And if you're not familiar with Polycam, it's an app that you can download onto your phones that is available on iOS and Android that allows you to take a series of photos or use video to create 3D models or scans of different environments that you're in. It's a really wild app. There is a free version and a paid version. The paid version, I believe, is a monthly option as well as an annual option, depending on what your needs are. If you're looking to export your files there, you're gonna wanna look into one of the pro options as well. And what's even crazier is I signed up and started using Polycam last December when I was initially looking at buying this building here that my studio's in. So I already have some 3D scans from last December with their old method of doing scans and it allowed me to get some rough measurements as well of the space. So to get started with your 3D scan, you're gonna click on the plus button in the top corner and then in the center, there is now a room option that'll allow you to start this room scanning. All right, so let's see how this goes while holding my phone and trying to scan with you guys here. So what you're gonna do is uh, try and point at the ceiling or corner area of a room to get started here, at least that's what I'm doing here. And you can see it's already starting to identify objects here. So it's scanning the door. Let's continue panning over this way. It's identifying a window there. And we're gonna keep scanning and it's just gonna be outlining the walls here. So it's trying to identify where the wall is starting and stopping. So I'm just sort of slowly moving around this big open room here. So identifying that door, awesome. And this, we're gonna see how well this works. <laughs> this is so cool, oh my goodness. I mean, it's just kind of blowing my mind how quickly it's picking up the scan information. Obviously, it's not gonna know that there's a uh, basketball hoop set up there. I mean, who has that set up in their place? Oh, but there it goes. It's identifying that there's a table there. So let's see if it'll if we can scan or how the heck we're gonna go about scanning this connected hallway here. Don't know why that door's so low. Let's see if it'll scan the bathroom here. Probably should have cleaned this up a little bit more. Oh, okay. It scanned a toilet and a sink. That's interesting. Wonder how that's gonna show up in the actual scan. Also, I have a recessed window there. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be able to account for that. All right, so I've scanned that, uh, this one whole section of the building. So let's move on and see about scanning this larger room and seeing how it does. I'm actually interested in seeing how well it identifies the walls here. Man, it thinks the ceiling is way up. I mean, technically it is. I have a drop ceiling here, so the ceiling's a little higher than it is. That's wild. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. This would have really helped me out uh, a handful of months ago when I was just getting started trying to map out all the spacing in here. Very interested in seeing how accurate this potentially is as well. But it's picking up everything, it looks like. So it's doing down here the wall. Oh, and it's noticing the bump out. Nice. Nice. It's picking it up. I don't know how if it knows. How's it going to know how big that is? Maybe it's just guesstimating. Yep, there's the other bump out. 
identifying that there's a table here. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that. Identifying the fridge and the counters. And I think that's it. I think it got everything. All right, let's check it out. So that took just a few minutes for us to create a 3D scan of this entire space. And it's even got some of the furniture that was placed inside of it. And what's really cool about this is if you come under the floor plan view, you can hide the furniture or show the furniture or uh, show the measurements as well for the space here. Now, how accurate is that? Mm, let's find out. So in the app, it says that the back wall is 10 feet, five inches. So let's find out. Not bad, not bad. It's 10 feet, one inches. So it's off by four inches, which can be a lot. And the app says that this room right here is nine feet, two inches long. So let's see. Again, pretty close. It's eight feet and 11 inches. And it didn't quite get all of the room scan data correct there. It's just missing a few things. Like one of the doors is completely missing for the bathroom. And then uh, some of the other areas, again, it's just not calculating uh, the measurements at all correctly. Or it's, it's considering one wall, one huge long wall spanning from one side of the building to the other versus breaking it up into the individual rooms so that I could actually identify what that room measurements are. And obviously an alternative to that would be instead of scanning an entire building like this, you could potentially just scan one room at a time. However, I was very interested in scanning my entire space here so that I could take this 3D geometry, export it and see if we can actually 3D print it so I can have my own miniature 3D studio. If you come and click on the download option, again, if you have the paid version of this app, it's gonna give you a lot of different export options here. So OBJ, GLTF files, DAE, FBX, you can even get DXF files and uh, SVGs of the actual floor plans, or you can get PNG versions of blueprints of your actual space that you've scanned, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, also, one really cool thing, if you uh, come under the export menu, there is, instead of clicking on all, or when you click on all, it's gonna show different 3D softwares that are compatible with this, that if you wanted to export it to that particular software. One thing that I would love to see is that if it had a Shaper 3D option, because if I'm using this app, I more than likely might be using Shaper 3D as well on my iPad or on my computer, and would like to be able to directly modify that and tweak those points or the measurements or the walls, uh, just modify it further to make it a little bit more accurate before exporting. So for our purposes for 3D printing, I'm gonna select OBJ and STL is also an option, but I'm gonna select OBJ and I'm gonna airdrop that to my computer. We can then bring that file into the slicer of our choice, scale this thing up and get it sliced and ready for 3D printing, which takes me to today's video sponsor, which is none other than Elegoo, the maker of the Elegoo Neptune series of 3D printers that I'm using for this 3D print of my actual studio. These are fantastic 3D printers, especially if you're interested in getting started with 3D printing without having to worry about breaking the bank while at the same time still having really quality machines that are gonna print absolutely awesome for you. If you're interested in more information about Elegoo and their 3D printers, you can find links to those down below. And a big thank you again to Elegoo for sponsoring today's video. And here's a look at my 3D printed studio based off of those scans from Polycam. And I have to say the print itself, I printed a tiny one here. I think this was 400% scale of the original uh, OBJ file that I exported. I did not use supports on this because I figured the overhangs were so small and it printed very nicely here. So I decided to scale it up, I think it was 1200% or something like that size which gives me about a seven by seven block here of my building, which is pretty amazing. I did end up using supports, which I think the support settings were just on a little too tightly. So I'm gonna end up trying to reprint this without supports because I ended up damaging some of the doorways. And I do wanna have a nice version of this that I can have on display somewhere in my studio. But I think it's pretty crazy that I was able to actually generate a file that I can 3D print from my phone, scanning my building in like five to eight minutes. It's really wild and I did zero cleanup of the actual 3D file. You can obviously take the files and export them out to something like Blender and further refine them and I might even try and do that. I just need to brush off and kind of relearn how to use Blender again.
I did also want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support of me making content here on the channel. If you're interested in my resin 3D printer settings, you can find those over at my Patreon. And keep in mind, this is the very first update that's allowing you to do this. So hopefully it will only get refined and better from here. There's seriously the potential for people that are into real estate or things like that to potentially be able to use this to upsell. And even if you're interested in making money on the side, 3D printing things, you could reach out to businesses and offer a service to 3D scan and print the layout of their building. That could be a pretty cool opportunity for some of you out there. But let me know what you guys think down below. I need to go off and reprint this again so that I can actually get one here that I can mount on the wall somewhere. Hey, thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.